So when you get the message knife service, uh, this is how you change the knives on a Robolino a robotic lawnmower. Turn it to the side, clear dirt from these little nuts. thing you have to do is to unscrew these three three nuts. I'll do that for you. Okay. You can take this apart. And this is what the disc looks like. Four blades, two of them attached in the bottom and the other two attached in the back. And these blades actually have two sides, well, four sides. Uh, if you look at the top here, this is the cutting edge. That edge and these two edges are usable as well. So what you do, is you flip this over or turn it over like that. A quick correction, you cannot flip this four ways. You can only flip it like that, not like that, because you'll see this little thing here will not pass through the hole, meaning it has, has to sit like that. So a correction, you can only flip a blade once before you change them. Take the blade, slide it out like that. And as you can see, these blades are very dirty. Uh, this one, I'll clean it up a little bit, but the other ones are super dirty, as you can see, compared to this one. And I usually use some multi-purpose product to clean off any rust and dirt. And Then I use a knife to scrape it off like that. And wipe it off with the paper. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'll also wipe off these little uh, knife base or where, where you put the knives. So it's clean from dirt when I put them back. Uh, not very hard, but I think it's necessary to do if you want the robotic lawnmower to survive a couple of years. There's a little difference between the diff two different blades. I mean, the ones exposed to the towards the lawn on this plate, uh, they're screwed into this hole and there's threading in there, as you can see. The blades that are hidden behind this plate on top of it, they have a little nut you have to keep track of. Do not lose that when you loosen these blades. Just a little warning. Now that this little nut is out and the screw as well, the same thing applies to this side. Just slide it out like so. After two minutes of cleaning with my knife and this product right here, you can already see a big difference. I'll do this on, on all four knives before I put them back. In the bottom of the plate, I, I also cleaned out these holes for the upper blades, the, the blades above the plate. And uh, yeah, it's good to do that because they were filled with dirt and it was difficult to, to reach the, the nut with my tool. Um, so, good thing to do. All blades are now clean, time to put them back on to the plate. Uh, I'll show you when that's done. Just do everything backwards. Before screwing everything back, I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on these screws uh, to make sure they don't come, come apart when using the machine. Just a little bit, not more than that.
make sure to not lose these spacers. They are placing these holes for the blades, up, upper blades. This is not a one hand job as you can see, but you get the point. You have to hold the nut in the back. Okay, all the knives are back and it's supposed to look like this with the spacer below these ones placed on top of the plate. Yeah, now that all screws are back in place and there's Loctite in there, I'm gonna put some more of this protecting product against rust on all these sides. I will not put the product on this place before putting some Loctite and tightening these screws back on as it comes back onto the machine. Yeah, I don't want the, the threading to be wet from some lubricant uh, before getting the Loctite in there. When putting the plate back, uh, just make sure to line up the holes in here and then you will just have to screw these things back. As I told you before, I put some Loctite on this one as well. Don't tighten these nuts all the way in before they're all in place. And just do this evenly across, like when you're changing a tire. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's done. Uh, before flipping this machine over and starting it, I'm also going to clean dried grass and stuff like that. Uh, oh, you get it. And I'll finish off with this uh, multi-purpose lubricant as well. All right, that's it. If you like this video and it helped you, maybe in changing the blades on your own robotic lawnmower, please subscribe and give me a like. Good luck, guys.